tonight, the ancient city of Nablus echoing with gunfire. Israeli special forces cornering and killing three Hamas militants after a month-long pursuit across the occupied West Bank. The gunman responsible for killing a British Israeli mother and her two daughters, according to both Hamas and Israel. At a nearby refugee camp, a hasty funeral for the slain militants, hailed by many as martyrs for their cause. These Hamas fighters were killed just a couple of hours ago, but their bodies are already being paraded through the streets and their armed comrades are calling for revenge. Hundreds of Palestinians from different factions turning out to honor them, including this 19-year-old. If the Israelis won't allow us into the occupied lands, we won't allow them to come here to the West Bank, he says. Last month, another funeral, but a very different scene. Lucy D. and her daughters Maya and Rina killed by the Hamas gunman in an ambush. The family, originally from London, moved to a West Bank settlement, their father delivering the eulogy for his own children. But tonight, feeling some measure of justice. We were uh, tremendously comforted by the uh, thought that they were uh, apprehended and eliminated and um, that everybody in the Western world can effectively sleep safer in their beds tonight. Violence in the Holy Land intensifying since an Israeli police raid on Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque, Islam's third holiest site. Police say they were clearing out extremists, Palestinians calling it unprovoked violence. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu meeting members of Congress today, saying his forces worked night and day to track the gunman. Palestinians say these are Israeli undercover agents entering Nablus in disguise. NBC News has not been able to independently verify who these people are. And Israeli police told us they could not disclose specific operational details. The gunman tracked to this abandoned house and killed in a shootout. This whole area is covered in shell casings like this left behind from the firefight. Hours after the raid in Nablus, Israel's military says a Palestinian woman stabbed a soldier in a nearby town. She was killed at the scene. One more death in a year with too many of them. Raf Sanchez joins us tonight from Berzait in the occupied West Bank. Raf, you mentioned there at the end a Palestinian woman who was killed allegedly attacking Israeli troops. This is very rare. I mean, I know we have heard of women being involved in this type of violence before, but any time you hear it, it does sort of speak to the level of violence that is happening. Yeah, Tom, it's rare, but it happens. The Palestinian Health Ministry says this is the second woman killed by Israeli fire so far this year, out of more than 100 Palestinians killed in total. At least 17 Israelis and foreigners have been killed in Palestinian attacks. And so this is shaping up, sadly, to be one of the bloodiest years here since the early 2000s. Tom. Raf Sanchez with those ongoing developments out of the Middle East. Raf, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.